Chapter Four, Database Management System. Dear teacher, how do all the businesses use computers to work with such a huge lot of data? Dear students, businesses run on storing and retrieving information. This is done by the help of database management systems. Let us learn about them. Storing data and retrieving information has been a necessity of all businesses. Data can be anything such as name of a person, a number, images, sound, etc. For example, Ravi, four, student, etc. When the data is processed and converted into a meaningful and useful form, it is known as information. For example, Ravi is four years old, and he is a student. There is information. Earlier, the data was stored manually in the form of files, books, and ledgers. Storing data and retrieving information from them is a time-consuming task. With the computers, this problem has been resolved. Computers have replaced paper, files, and ledgers as the principal media for storing important information. Computers help manage and organize the data so that useful information can be accessed easily and efficiently. A database is a collection of related data from which users can efficiently retrieve the desired information. A database can be a simple collection of text data in a simple tabular form to a complex collection of images, audio or video. Database Management System DBMS is a collection of programs that enables users to create, maintain database and control all the access to the database. The primary goal of DBMS is to provide an environment that is both convenient and efficient for user to retrieve and store information. The basic concepts behind a DBMS are specification of data types, structures and constraints to be considered, storing the data and manipulating it as required, querying the database to retrieve desired data, updating the content of the database, need for database management system, database approach came into existence due to the drawbacks and limitations of file processing system. In file processing systems, updating, deleting and maintaining the data is difficult. A number of application programs are written by programmers to maintain the data. In the database approach, the data is stored at a central location and is shared among multiple users. Thus, the main advantage of DBMS is centralization of data. Advantages of Database Management System The ability to update and retrieve data, this is the fundamental feature of a DBMS. Without the ability to view or manipulate data, there would be no point to using a database system. Updating data in a database includes adding new records, deleting existing records, and changing information within a record. Support concurrent updates. Concurrent updates occur when multiple users make updates to the database simultaneously. Supporting concurrent updates is also crucial to database management as this ensures that updates are made correctly. Otherwise, it would lead to the loss of important data and or inaccurate data stored. Recovery of data. DBMS provides ways to back up and recover database. There are times computers may crash, a fire or other natural disaster may occur, or a user may enter incorrect information invalidating or making records inconsistent. Security. To prevent unauthorized access to the database, DBMS uses features like encryption, authentication, 
authorization and views to provide security to the database. Data integrity. Data integrity is a set of rules that DBMS provides to see that data, incorrect or inconsistent data, is not stored. Controlled data redundancy. During database design, various files are integrated and each logical data item is stored at central location. This removes replicating the data item in different files and ensures consistency and saves the storage space. Data sharing. The data stored in database can be shared among multiple users or application programs. Due to shared data, it is possible to integrate new applications without having to create any additional data or with minimal modification. Ease of application development The application programmer needs to develop the application programs according to the user's needs. The other issues like concurrent access, security, data integrity, etc., are handled by the DBMS itself. This makes the application development an easier task. Application Areas of Database System Database systems support businesses of almost every nature nowadays. Some of the most common database applications are listed here. Travel Industry Airlines, railways, hotels and cab industry use online databases for reservation, room bookings and for displaying the schedule information. Banking and finance. Databases are used for storing information such as sales, purchases of stocks and bonds. Or data useful for online trading, customers, accounts, loans and other transactions. Education. Schools and colleges use databases for course registration, result, and other information. E-commerce. Integration of heterogeneous information sources, for example, catalogs for business activity, such as online shopping, booking of holiday package, consulting a doctor, etc. Healthcare industry. Databases are used for maintaining the patient health care details. Digital libraries and publishing. Databases manage bulk text and multimedia data. Human resources. Organizations use databases for storing information about their employees, salaries, benefits, taxes and for generating salary checks. Components of database management system. User. Any person who can access the data by using a DBMS is called a database user. Database administrator. A database administrator is a person who directs or performs all activities related to maintaining a successful database environment. Responsibilities include designing, implementing and maintaining the database system and providing security and training to employees in database management system. Application Program An application program is any program designed to perform a specific function directly for the user or in some cases for another application program or operating system. Data Models Data model describes the structure of a database. Database structure includes data types, relationships and constraints. Types of data models for DBMS are Relational Data Model RDM. The relational model is powerful yet simple, both flexible and natural. Data is stored in conceptual tables in which rows are instances and columns and fields. In such a database, the data and relations between them are organized in tables.